Season five of The Handmaid's Tale is winding down and it is giving its audience every piece of justice it has wanted to see for the character Serena Joy Waterford. If you are a fan of the show, you know that its heroine, June Osborne, played by Elizabeth Moss, has been in a battle with Serena Waterford since she was assigned as her handmaid back in season one. It has seemed for the past years that June would never be able to get the revenge she seeks so desperately on the Waterfords as a whole, but that has all changed and we are shooketh. <laughs> now, I want to give a proper spoiler alert here because if you are not caught up on the show, we are about to dive into, you know, some of the answers and some of the things that have been happening in the plot, the twists, the turns that are keeping us on the edge of our seats. So joining me now is Yvonne Strahovski, who plays the diabolical Serena Waterford. <laughs> Yvonne, welcome to the show. I cannot wait to get into this with you. Hi, <laughs> thanks for having me. Wow. So, I mean, this character is dark, self-righteous, conniving, but probably so fun to play as an actress, right? So before we dive in, I wanted to find out, you know, just from you and your thoughts on on playing someone like Serena. And, and do you think she's misunderstood at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I think she thinks she's misunderstood. Uh, I I don't know that she actually is, though. It's fun. It can be pretty conflicting at times to play someone like Serena Joy. Um, I've kind of always towed that line of like, oh, this is really fun, but it's also, you know, feels very dirty, kind of justifying a lot of the things that she does, because that's my job is to humanize her and justify all her actions which are horrible um so yeah it can be it can be a little weird sometimes to be sort of on the inside when you know objectively when i'm watching it i'm kind of with the masses so you're watching yourself like oh why did she do that oh wait that's me <laughs> <laughs> yeah i watch it like Ugh. <laughs> So let's talk about this twist um, uh, that is what everyone's talking about. Um, In episode seven, the shift happens when you are in labor and there is no one for you to rely on in that moment. Um, But your enemy, June, the scene is just raw and and primal and also in a way a bonding moment for the two women. Um, But there is a vulnerability that comes when Serena says the sentence that had fans dropping their mouths to the floor. I'm their handmaid. It's like I'm you. She's, of course, you know, referring to a family that she's been staying with that basically has her captive. What was it like going into that scene for you? I read that episode and I was like, oh, yes, this is going to be so amazing and fun to do. I loved the fact that we ended up in this space together with, you know, the two characters. It felt very personal to me because I had just given birth to my second son. I was literally postpartum like just a couple months or a few months, but it was very fresh for me. With my second son, I had done it at home in my room. So it was a little bit kind of slightly reminiscent of, you know, Not, I didn't do it by myself, but it wasn't, you know, in a hospital setting with all the things. I spoke to Lizzie a lot about sort of trying to create a more authentic TV birth that was really important to me. But aside, you know, outside of that, with the dialogue and everything, it was just, there was so much for us to sink our teeth into and having those vulnerable moments and taking all those turns. I mean, even the the biggest one felt like when Serena suggests um, maybe you should take him. I mean, (laughs) there's just so many sort of realizations in this, what feels like a very long scene, which is pretty much the whole episode. There's so many complicated emotional landings for Serena um, that it was just it's just so magnificent to be five seasons into a show with a character and you're not bored yet you know like that's amazing i love that and i love that context now i have to go rewatch it and think about what the real woman was going through <laughs> maybe a couple months prior to that oh my gosh <laughs> We are amazing, we women. Um, But (laughs) I wanted to ask, what has been the most challenging part of this season 
just for you as an actor, I mean, was there a scene, maybe it's that one, but was there a scene that really, you know, took you there, that that took the prep, but also debriefing to kind of step away from it? Because it's a heavy show. I mean, I love, I loved it. I loved having the opportunity to dive so deeply into the character. I, I really did. It was, it was literally my favorite thing, episode seven. But I think just the stamina. I, I mean, you know, this is the first time I was working with, well, and I had two kids at home and I was postpartum and, you know, it was just kind of a lot to juggle along with everything else that life brings forward. So that was kind of probably the most challenging thing. But in terms of scenes, you know, I would say the one of the most challenging scenes, not that you asked me, but I'm going to tell you anyway, um, <laughs> was uh, the the gun moment, the, the the lead up to episode seven when, when I'm pulling the gun on... June that was one of the the more complex things to explore that was new with the character and that is she wasn't five steps ahead in this moment like she usually is Serena's a very manipulative forward thinking kind of person and this was an opportunity to show her just really having no plan whatsoever and you know it's kind of a weird uh very dramatic moment so so you know it felt like I had to be super careful treading that line you know because it'd be very easy to make go into some kind of melodrama with it that was interesting you know that she's not she's not kind of she's not planned any of this she doesn't know what she's going to do with this gun she doesn't know that she's going to take the gun she there's so many things which obviously lead into episode seven the birthing episode where we just kind of see her unravel well i have to ask yvonne off off screen off set um what do you get at the grocery store what do you get at the play dates are moms coming up to you like what is going why would you like (laughs) (laughs) has has it leaked into real life where people are like give give me the tea on handmaid's tale not real. i mean i yeah people are usually rather nice i would say like i don't i mean i thought that i would get you know some kind of hate speeches or whatever thrown at me just because of the role that I play. But no, it's been like, it's been fine. It's been good. Well, I have to ask the obligatory final question. I mean, what can we expect leading up to this finale? Where do you hope June and Serena end with their relationship, you know, going into that sixth and final season that we know is coming? There's a lot of commentary I've I've seen some of the commentary and it's funny how people are like, oh my gosh, maybe this is the moment where they team up and they take down Gilead and whatever. But it's, it's just so I- idealistic that I, <laughs> and there's no way, I mean, there's just no way that I think the, the writers and Bruce Miller, our, you know, showrunner would, would do that. I think the beauty of the June Serena, you know, that's kind of the, where the action is at, where when they collide. And I would love to see that continue. (laughs) No happy endings here, folks. (laughs) I just don't think there's a happy ending. And yeah, there's no, and there's definitely no obvious sort of storylines. I mean, that's why I I love and respect the writers so much because they seem, I mean, look at this season. The most obvious thing would have been let's make Serena a handmaid. And that would be just, you know, so cool to have that kind of revenge. But but that would be too obvious. And so they managed to do it still this season, but in a very kind of creative, not so obvious way. I love it. Yvonne, thank you so much for being here with us today and, and just taking us into the show we all love and, and cringe at, The Handmaid's Tale. <laughs> um, it, guys, it releases weekly, Wednesdays on Hulu. Yvonne, such a pleasure. Thank you so much. 